was here right after his baby was born. Could you well, talk it's, about? It's a little over dramatic. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, his, his uh, wife had a baby, you know, I think uh, two, three days ago. Two, and, okay. Yeah. So I, she's, I had she's, misinformation. Yeah, you did. It's, you, I'm going to point out a guy right down there. Uh -huh. Twitter. So, I tell you. Yeah. She, uh, she. I mean, she. She came home uh, yesterday. Okay. From the hospital, and so he. I'd spend uh, a little time, not great timing to have a, you know, your first baby during football camp. And so life so, coach. Sometimes that happens. Boy uh, or girl? It's a boy. A boy. Yep. Right. Is that the lead story from the scrimmage? <laughs> it might be. <laughs> a little bit about what you saw from the scrimmage. Um, I thought our offense had a good day. It could have been a great day if you take away the one turnover and, and you take away some of the drives that I thought they self-destructed. You know, we had some good drives that we got out of because, uh, you know, receivers missing signals or, uh, you know, offensive line jumping. You know, and I thought for the first 80% of practice, you know, I didn't think our defense really stopped our offense. I thought our offense at times stopped themselves. I thought our offensive line looked really good. I thought we ran the ball well. Um, you know, conversely on defense, uh, I didn't think we stopped the run real well today. We didn't tackle real well. We didn't generate turnovers. You know, they had a little bit of a comeback late that they had the three three and outs that they played at the level that I thought they're capable of. But, uh, you know, again, overall, I, I thought the offense probably got the better of the defense today. Knowing that this is the first scrimmage after roughly a week of practice, I mean, is this where you wanted the team to be ahead, behind? Where, where would you pinpoint it? Well, I mean, I think, you know, the, again, I, I say this all the time. The nature of these scrimmages is you always walk off concerned about you know, one side of the ball more than another. That's just the nature of scrimmages. I mean, if the defense came out here and played lights out, and the offense didn't move the ball, then you're worried about the offense. So, you know, I mean, you go back, you watch the film, but I think some things stuck out. I was really uh, felt good about our offensive line. I thought those guys really came out tonight with a focus. They played well as a unit. Their communication was excellent. Um, but that, that's probably as well as we've ran the ball against our starting defense in three years here. So that was a, a very encouraging sign. Um, you know, the receivers, I, I, you know, just you're dying for some guys to start separating themselves. I thought Chris Gallon made some good plays, you know, but he missed a signal or two. Um, you know, Jerron Stokes made a good play, but he missed a signal. It's just, you, you know, you need guys to grow up in a hurry. That's the one group that hasn't played a lot. Uh, I'd have a hard time saying they're, they're game ready right now. You know, if we played in a week with that group, I think we'd be in trouble. But fortunately, we have three weeks, and I just keep hoping. And I think they're all elevating their game. But I don't know if we have two or three guys yet that have clearly separated themselves, and you can say those are our go-to guys. And uh, we need that to happen. I like the way the running backs played, and I like the way the quarterbacks protected the ball. I and mean, that's been a major goal of ours since the end of last season. And uh, you know, it was good to see we, we took care of the ball until that last snap late on goal line. You know, defensively, you know, through practices, the defense is probably getting the better of the offense. So. If you asked me what I thought would happen today, I, I thought the defense would probably get the better. And so maybe it's a positive that the offense came back. Um, but you know, you leave that scrimmage, and there's still concerns about your ability to stop the run. I mean, we, that's our number one priority on defense. And we've been doing it all camp and doing a nice job of it. And, and today, we didn't do it. You mentioned the run. You have Anton Samuel back from the wrist injury. He wasn't able to get in a full spring. How would you rate him so far? He's a good player. I mean, he's just he's a very good player. So, I mean, he can make people miss. He's a smart football player, can catch the ball out of the backfield. You know, you'd certainly say right now, he, he's probably going to be the primary ball carrier. But I love the way John Pettigrew run, run the ball today. Jamel Martin has a ton of talent. And, uh, you know, Andre Givens and, um, you know, Jordan Hopgood route, you know, they, they couldn't participate in the scrimmage, but those two are good players too. So we have a very good problem there. And uh, I, I just don't think you can ever have too many tailbacks. I mean, last year by the Buffalo game, we were playing our fourth and fifth tailback. And you go through a, a season with what we do on offense, and, and you need to have a bunch of those guys. So, uh, you know, we've got a good group. Uh, I think right now Anton is, is probably the number one, but I think all four of those guys, uh, other than Anton, will, will find roles and at some point this season play and help us. A couple of bookkeeping things. You, we had talked. Tansky and Pullman got scholarships. Did you give any other scholarships to walk on guys other than those two? Uh, not since the. Uh, that, that was just since the spring. Okay. Yeah, those two. Uh, you know, Bart Tansky obviously had, had earned his. Right. 
and and Chris Pullman earned his. I mean, Chris is you know played as a true freshman, as a walk-on, was a great student, uh, just one of the hardest workers in the weight room, and you know at, at some point here, you know, in the spring, uh, you know, for, that's it for now. Okay. And uh, you know we'll go through this season, and I'm sure there'll be a, a couple of guys that are walk-ons that earn something this season, and we'll take care of them either January or next year. Uh, you mentioned both Hopgood and Givens didn't play. What's what's the situation with that? Oh, I think Jordan. It's you know more precautionary. He's been practicing, but he had the knee surgery last year, and um, we're just we're limiting his work. Um, he's still coming back, and we had three other healthy backs, and um, you know he he's played more in a game than than any of those guys other than uh, Anton last year. Mm -hmm. So we're being a little bit uh, preventative with him, and uh, Andre Givens just had a. You know, a little injured the other day, and we think he'll be back Monday or Tuesday. But we just we did not want to take a chance with him today. I mean, he, he wasn't 100%, uh, and uh, you know we didn't want something to happen that set him back further. Okay. Okay.